Oh man, I just got soaked. Yeah, that was on the walk back. Look at this guy. I'm telling you, man, it's dangerous being an English teacher. You want to learn some English? Let's do it. In today's English lesson, you are going to learn at least 12 ways we use the word square in English. And there is a very good chance I am going to get completely soaked as I teach it because I am going on the worst walk possible. It's a nice warm summer day. Look at this. And I'm gonna walk along this street and probably get soaked by a puddle. This is so stupid, but um, it's a fun way to learn English, I hope. So let's do it. I got my dad shoes on. I got the um, clothing that I normally, oh, watch this. The, oh, they're slowing down. Someone's gonna be nice. That's all right, that's all right. Oh, that was, that was close. We're gonna get nailed here pretty soon. But you're gonna learn about how do you square? Oh, there's a little bit on me. First of all, we should probably talk about what a square is. Everybody's being so nice though. They were slowing down. A square is a shape. And I can put a picture of what a square is on the screen. It has four equal sides and it has four equal angles. And an angle looks like that. I will put a picture of what an angle is up on the screen. But they're four equal, like they're the same size. You also, you also might hear four square meal, oh sorry, three. It's hard to concentrate when you're about to get splashed. Three square meals a day. So we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now those three square meals a day, they're probably not going to be delicious. They probably aren't going to be very good to eat, but they will fill you up and they will have like nutrition. They will be good for you. They will be healthy. Now, you might get served three square meals in prison. Uh-oh, big truck coming. Big truck coming. Oh yeah, that got me. That got me. <laughs> so three square meals a day. Doesn't taste very good. I have my notes here just so I don't forget anything. All right, so we talked about three square meals a day. Three square meals, but you also might hear the term a square. A square is somebody who is not popular, like a geek or dork. That term is not used anymore. That was probably used in the 1950s. But, hang on, we got some water on the lens. But, you might hear the term be there or be square. Let's say somebody is having a party. Oh no. Another truck coming by. Oh, it, it didn't get me. The other car did though. So if somebody has a party and they invite you, you might hear that term, be there or be square. That means come to my party or, I think those people thought I was crazy, uh, which, hey, maybe I am, maybe I am crazy. Uh, but if you go to that person's party, you'll be good. If you don't, you will be a square. So be there or be square. 
Somebody might say that anytime they invite you somewhere. Like, you should go to this so people don't think you are unpopular. All right, the next one. It's like trying to put a round peg into a square hole. A round peg into a square hole. So think of a peg, it's usually wooden, and it's almost like a nail. I'll put a picture up of what a peg is. But if the peg is round, it's like a circle. And if you try to stick it into a square hole, it doesn't really work, does it? Ah, uh, this is a bad idea. It's hard to teach. This is what makes it a challenge. So anytime you don't quite feel comfortable, you can say it's like putting a round peg into a square hole. I mean, right now, I do feel pretty uncomfortable, but I'm a teacher. You may know that. But if I tried to do work like construction, where I had to dig holes, it wouldn't work. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I wouldn't be good at it. It would be like trying to fit. It would be like trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. The next one. I got to uh, switch my cards here. The fourth one, it looks like. I'm getting splattered. Splattered. Um, you could square up against somebody and this means you are competing against them. Like maybe in basketball, you'll hear this a lot. Two people squaring up against each other, they're competing, they're trying to, to battle each other. There's another one we'll talk about later that's not quite so friendly, but this is friendly. This is not like a war or anything. If you square up against somebody, you are competing against them, usually in a sport. The next one is also square up, but this has to do with getting paid. Let's say you do some work for somebody. Maybe you're a plumber and you fix their toilet and maybe the job cost them $500 and you wanna be paid. When you are paid or when they say, hey, how much do I owe you? I want to square up with you. That means I want to pay you what you are worth. I want to pay you for the job you did. Hey, um, let's talk next week and we'll square up. Always has something to do with money. All right, the next one. Look at this. I'm walking on the sidewalk, which is which is not great but there isn't even a sidewalk here they didn't plow it luckily i can go around i won't get squirted i won't get splashed here all right the next one is back to square one back to square one this means you have to start back at the beginning back to square one you have to start all over again let's pretend you're learning english ah we don't have to pretend you are learning english right that's why you're watching this video well let's say you had to take let's say you had to take a break for a week you couldn't study english for a week probably okay you would be able to pick up right where you left off. You wouldn't lose too much. There's a English phrasal verb for you. But if you took, <coughs> excuse me, I have to shout. If you took a week off, not a bad thing. But let's say you had to take a year or two off. That truck, that truck slowed down so they wouldn't splash me. The car behind them didn't, and I got splashed. I am a little wet right now. Look at my pants here. Oh. So if you took a whole year off 
from learning English, you might have to start back at square one. You might have to start all over again. Just depends on how long you've been learning English. All right, the next one, let me find my, oh, my notes are getting wet. <sighs> all right, the next one is a square deal. If you ever hear of a square deal, that means it's fair. So let's say two countries are trading with each other, two countries. And maybe one country has a lot of oil. Yeah, hang on just a second. There's a lot of people who watch this channel that say they love winter. They love winter more, oh my gosh. It's gonna be bad down here. They love winter more than summer. Well, I think that most of those people don't live in a place that has winter, that has snow because when the snow melts, it is a mess. So everyone who is team winter, are you still team winter? 